Today, I will be sharing on the topic exploring Intelligent OS in the area of the large AI models. I'm the maintainer of OpenRA Compatibility SIG, and I will do uh, my work as, uh, to develop the uh, tools for the AI or for the OpenRA operation systems. Uh, today, I will make a brief introduction from these four aspects. The first is the AI load map for OpenEura. So, OpenEura will provide uh, two frameworks and uh, one platform in the future, laying a strong foundation for heterogeneous computing and AI infrastructure. In general, OpenEura will focus on two uh, key areas, the AI for OS and uh, the Cygnus OS for AI. AI4S refers to use AI to assist the operating systems in complex task scheduling and intelligent performance optimization. We will offer AI framework to help users better manage their operating systems. And the second one is the OS for AI. It means the uh, uh, operating systems will provide uh, the framework or the tools to uh, help the AI training or influence more efficiency. Uh, OS for AI improves how to operating systems support better AI models, uh, training and improve the efficiency, such as through unified heterogeneous memory and fine ground task ability, helping user enhance inference and training performance. In addition, we provide uh, standards uh, data access interface, a set of tools, and an intelligent container runtime to support uh, this capability. So, in this picture, we can see all the entries, the open recovery systems, and uh, the platform. Uh, it is also a platform for the uh, applications, <coughs> for the intelligent application. Uh, the, six to uh, the next step I will show is uh, uh, AI for OS, leveraging AI technology to build uh, intelligent operating systems. AI models are gradually evolving from tasks like conversation, uh, image, and video generation to the enterprise. And applications <coughs> such as data processing and report gen generation. But in the future, AI will become a core part of enterprise uh, application, such like uh, the EIP and the IPD. Today, there are many AI service vendors. Uh, we can say that uh, we have uh, Baichuan and ChatGPT uh, in chat uh, content uh, or content uh, generation. And we also have AI soft office solution like uh, the Rack or the uh, E2 and uh, the GitMind. <coughs> and there are also uh, many AI models for the AI writing and uh, translation. But there are how can the large AI models uh, be applied to business to business solution? And uh, the traditional ISVS also have a question that uh, how can traditional application be made uh, intelligent? Uh, so we have uh, uh, three important points. The first uh, uh, is shifts in engineer models. Uh, in the past, uh, we focused more on data labeling, but now we focus the shift uh, to interface and uh, annotation. By annotation uh, <coughs> interface, large models will gain the ability to manage and schedule the operating systems. The second is the shift in interaction models from GUI operations to natural language interaction. The transition from uh, graphical interface interaction to natural language interaction all allow users to uh, intuitively express their needs to operating systems and uh, with, with AI handling the rest, that greatly simplifies the learning curve. And the last one is the shift in developer models. It, uh, we will embed the uh, AI semantic levels interface within applications to enable large models to better understand and uh, interact uh, uh, with uh, the operating system. <coughs> to uh, address these three major challenges, we provide uh, open corporate assistance, uh, LLM based intelligent interaction platform. This is the architecture diagram of the open corporate assistance. It features an agent uh, report repository 
which stores different agents, such as for the question and answer, and the turning, reporter generation, and more. Through the agent framework, the open corporate systems can invoke this agent. Additionally, we, pro additional, we provide uh, engineering capability that allow users to build their own engines using provided tour charms. Users can automatically generate agents stored uh, in the repository and uh, in in integrate them to the open unit corporate systems to enhance its uh, capability. Finally, the open unit corporate systems serve as the unified entry point where users can perform related operation uh, via a web interface or shell. <coughs> so the next is uh, uh, introduced for the OS for AI. We want building a heterogeneous AI integrated infrastructure foundation. GPU and CPU memory can be reused with unified addressing and uh, management. While DDR memory is large, but uh, it's relatively slow. On the other hand, HBM memory is small but more but offers uh, high performance. So we schedule hot memories uh, to HBM and uh, cold memories to the normal memories. Based on memory usage frequency, we migrate memory from CPU to NPU or the NPU uh, to the CPU to minimize the movement of the hot memory and uh, enhancing overall training efficiency. We provide a unified uh, framework for memory management, allowing users to focus on their, uh, on their inter inference or training, uh, rather than worry about uh, how to manage memory, <coughs> uh, for, uh, and how to uh, manage memory or schedule between GPU, CPU, and uh, NPU. So users can run their AI framework and applications on the operating systems without uh, needing to manage memory scheduling for optimal efficiency. So we do some tests at uh, uh, where the TGI framework uh, inference uh, scenarios uh, by Lama 16.5b achieved 50% through a support uh, increase. And uh, the next one is uh, uh, given the raising cost of NPUs and GPUs, we need to provide a virtualization capability to support uh, the de deployment of small models, uh, inference, and enhanced AI throughput. In fields such as retail, physical environment, and customer service, the, user, the use of small AI models is becoming increasingly prevalent. For example, consider a typical scenario uh, where uh, small AI models is used to extract the features from a product a database and uh, predict which products will become popular. <coughs> the challenge we face is how to deploy these uh, uh, numerous small models locally. To address this, we uh, provide uh, partitioning and uh, temporary reuse uh, uh, combined with the device virtualization to improve overall the CPU and NPU. Additionally, our heterogeneous fishing technology has interface and training efficiency. So uh, we can say that uh, uh, that's the result we test uh, with to, uh, <coughs> to reach the improved CV inference. So the last one is that we want to build a full all stack AI software compatibility ready to use out of the box. We aim to build a comprehensive AI full stack containing AI models to ensure that AI capability are ready to use out of the box. A major current challenge is that the different hardware and AI models requires the deployment of viral drivers and the uh, AI framework and the uh, uh, de dependency, uh, dependency software stacks, which impose a steep uh, learning uh, curve for ordi ordinary developers. To address this, we plan to enable a full stack solution from hardware support to operator tool chance. We can, uh, the, uh, the bottom is the hardware and we will uh, have a tour chance 
to help the developers uh, deploy the framework and the AI environment. And we also have a toolkit uh, called epkg.oe deploy to help the users uh, install their software or their package easily. Uh, <coughs> in addition, this is uh, should the uh, challenge of the AI to deployment. So, use the our full stack uh, operating systems. Uh, we could uh, deploy in time reduced from three weeks to three hours. So that's what we want to do in this year. Okay, that's all. And uh, we have I. Uh, <coughs> We hope to the uh, developer or the users to use our operating systems and use these uh, new features uh, in the next release version. Yeah. Oh yes, so <coughs> you know, we can see that uh, we uh, provide uh, engineering service and uh, uh, agent framework. It is a tool. It is a, that is a tool to help uh, the uh, other enterprise or developer to put their document uh, in the, our uh, service, and it will generate the uh, agent or the. Uh, <coughs> The agent automatically, and the user could use this agent to um, put it uh, to the agent framework, uh, which called uh, this agent. So the oral coupling systems uh, will use this agent uh, to help the developers to uh, have uh, to generate their own coupling systems automatically. Okay. Uh, one or where? Uh, I think uh, it uh, maybe it in the October, and uh, it will be a uptime package. It will be uptime package in your persistence. We can, you can use the YAM to install it. Okay. Oh, Zhenyu, the next one. <laughs> 